Welcome back, everybody. The Grand Tactician, Civil War. Grumper Grumpa Gaming, and this is episode 46 of our federal Spring of 61 campaign. So, uh, nothing new to add to the historical record for this episode, so we're going to jump straight into the recap. There's really not much of one. Uh, we only moved the game five days since the uh, start of the last episode. We just fought the battles of, I think it was 17th and 18th D.C., Yep, which was a uh, yeah, pretty pretty bad blowout against the uh, rebels. Hopefully, they don't make any more moves in the region for the rest of the month. So uh, they don't have much left in the area. They are down as low in strength as we are. I think they've transferred most of their forces out to see the uh, western reaches. Uh, we are still waiting for the reinforcements to come in for all the units I sent back to get troops when the enlistments ran out at the start of the year. And they should all be in place by the beginning of April to mid-April, just in time for the start of their spring campaign season. So I'm hoping to make it to there this episode. No guarantees, though. The way the rebels have been, rebel AI has been moving around. No guarantees I can make it to the start of this spring campaign, but we'll see. All right, it's now April 11th, and it's finally time to begin the final offensive. So we are going to be doing an all-out push everywhere to bring this war to its natural conclusion. Uh, Six Corps has actually been forced back down onto Fort Massachusetts. So I'm going to bring them back around to resecure Baton Rouge and then come back and take on these two rebel armies here before moving against Mobile. Uh, Fifth Corps has been pushed back to Nacogdoches. And they are just waiting for the final rest of their troops to arrive and the readiness to get a little higher. Then I'm going to be pushing them back into Resecure Shreveport and then push on across to Vicksburg. Seventh Corps is ready to go, and I'm going to give them orders. Actually, I'll issue them right now. Start moving against the final fort in the Indian Territory. Second Corps is also ready to go. So there is a Rebel Corps here, much, much smaller than them. So I'm just going to give them orders to push straight across to Memphis. First Corps. Now let me select you. Ooh, there's rebels there, but we should still be able to get across the bridge. It is going to make a move towards Indianapolis and start securing northern Tennessee for us. The Corps that was in front of 8th, they have moved out of the region, so I'm actually going to send them up and around to Wheeling, start securing West Virginia. Actually, I should probably have them move by river. If we'll even let them up in that region. 4th Corps is going to push on Winchester against all these forces here. Maybe a good idea, maybe a bad idea. It seems to be a lot of rebels in the region, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah, there's actually a lot here. We'll hold off on that. Third core, you're going to push into Alexandria. That should draw some of those rebels away from there. Then we can start pushing forth into Winchester. Our ironclad fleet did re-engage the rebels at Long Island Sound. Uh, they were soundly defeated by sheer numbers alone, <laughs> sadly. There's just a lot of rebel ships in that region. And they also did re manage to retake two to forts along like Pontchartrain, so that's going to be a little bit of a roadblock i got to try and avoid now. All right, I think that covers everything for the uh, spring offensive push, so uh, let's get this moving. All right, it's now April 12th, and we have our first engagement of the Spring Offensive. And that is the 4th Corps moving against Winchester is engaged. All these corps down here, and they're actually under overall command of Thomas Jackson. In the command of the Army of Maryland. He has Fulkerson's Corps Army of Maryland, B. Jr.'s Corps Army of Maryland, Army of Virginia Headquarters, and three more unknown corps, which are probably part of the Army of Virginia. 
They're going to have about 20,307 infantry, 8,400 cavalry, and 38 guns. Mostly going to be on the field on the first day, except for one corps, which is their biggest one. So I'm hoping we'll be able to drive them away from the field before this final corps makes it. Uh, we're going to have 18,537 men and 52 guns on the field. Third corps is 26 hours away down in Alexandria, which they've almost fully secured. I doubt they'll be on the field. But if they come to the field, we will have the numbers advantage, at least in infantry. Well, let's jump into this one. Welcome, my grunts, to the Battle of Harper's Ferry. So we are on the Winchester battlefield, and we are attacking at Kernstown. So we do have the numbers advantage right now. With 18,000 to their 7,000. So their troops will be on the field before we even get down to them. The Army of Maryland's on the field. Actually, one corps is 14 hours away, but they'll be here overnight. Army of Virginia with Walker's Corps will be here within two to three hours. And Cooper's Raiders, which is a separate corps with one brigade, will be here in about an hour. So they're going to have all their forces on the field overnight. Because it's already uh, 1,600 and we have to get down to Kernstown. So my plan is for right now is use the uh, Sensensi Road here. Come up this way, come down these roads here. And it's going to take me a while to do this just because of the route I'm taking. But I want to attack Kernstown from this direction over here. Because there is some, uh, we do have some advantage with the heights in this right here along this ridge line. So uh, I'm going to get these troops moving and I'll come back in once we have contact with the rebels. All right, it's so now 0700 of day two. My corps barely made any movement as, uh, yeah, they didn't follow the road path thing I'd put out for them. So they are trying to make their way down here along this uh, bottom ground along the creek bed. And somehow Sherman's brigade ended up down here. But uh, had our cavalry brigade out this way scouting. And on the overnight, looks like one of the corps has shown up along my... Uh, Axe to attack along the flank of it at least. But that's fine because we're not even in that position yet. Let's pull. We're not having you guys stay there. Let's pull you boys back to here. Sherman, you're here, so come join them. Just hang out until everybody else shows up. Wealth minus Sherman. Let's move you guys along the road a little better. So that kind of ruins the axis of attack I had, but we can still come in from this direction here. We still do have a heights advantage coming in from this direction. I was just really hoping to have my artillery set up along here for an attack in the Kearns town. But it's not telling if those rebels will still be there come daylight. Let's get you guys out of that bottom ground. Give me a chance to get my artillery into a position where they might actually be useful. And this is not breaking my campaign rules as it's units in contact cannot shift overnight. Units not in contact can shift. All right, that should do her. I'll probably have to leave one division here on a flank guard. But that's fine. We're going to give you orders to move first, I think. Just to get you moving. I can't see what the hell's over here. Yeah, no, Carter. I want you to come over here. There's Pennsylvania Guard. Come up here. I need to see what's down there. Uh, 
Let's just get the artillery moving. Thirteenth, you guys come along here. Thirteenth, well, I'll come along here. Is that to move the other division further down the road? We are showing a minor defeat. Their morale has significantly improved. What does this terrain look like? Actually, that's a better position right there anyway. It's coming along there. All right. Got our moves on the works. So hopefully they shifted these forces off of my flank. There's no telling if they did or not. So I'll be back. All right, it's now 0840 in the morning. My batteries are moving into position, begin firing, and we already have our first wounded officer, uh, Nathan Pryor, commander of the Fort Jefferson Garrison. I do have Runyon's 14th Infantry Division moving into position, begin an attack along this axis here, with Hunter sitting on the heights here to support him once the attack goes in. I have moved the Pennsylvania Guard out onto this flank as there is another division sitting back here. My third corps has started arriving on the field. I have sent Cadwallader's 9th Division and Reynolds 10th Divisions down along this road here to clear out any rebels that might be down here that we saw at the uh, map reset. I have the other infantry division, the artillery, the cavalry, all moving up along this road here to move in behind 4th Corps. So we'll definitely have plenty of troops for the attack. We're showing a minor defeat right now because they do have the better morale. So we should start changing that fairly quickly. Now my batteries are actually in a position to do something. I should see off these guns fairly quickly as all my batteries are uh, counter battery. Yep, they're already getting ready to break. So for this division to move in. Yeah, we're ripping this battery down pretty quickly. This is more about, I'm more worried about this back here than I am this over here. And the troops that could possibly be over here. If they haven't moved them off with the overnight. Yeah, Walter's almost in position. I don't see anything in the 14th front. Barry's getting ready to go, so we're just going to start pushing forward. And the range fan of artillery basically covers his entire attack point here with the 30s reaching out to this division back here. Just got to keep an eye on everything down here. It's like having a lot of moving pieces right now. A lot more than I'm used to. Not used to having all of my core on the field at one time. Byzantines has got less than a thousand men. Oof. Yeah, not all my brigades came back at full strength, sadly. And I also noticed that they, all the units that had Sharps rifles don't have them anymore. Here we go, there goes that battery. That was a detachment taking over, and those things are just hard to kill. There. 
Sherman's third brigade's got less than a thousand men in it also. Yeah, Wilder, let's get you at single line. Start marching them down the road. And I can hear some one pounders out here. It's probably this battery back there. Take you a minute to get those orders, isn't it? He's still back here. There's a cavalry behind everybody. They should be out ahead. Oosh. Oh, this is batteries to one pounders. Okay. We'll be cleared out soon enough. Batteries go to fire at will. Fifty two losses in that battery, really. Fourteen losses in this one. I did take about a hundred overnight attrition. Looks like it came mostly out of my artillery division. Come on, Vigilante, keep pushing forward. Get out of those woods. I do have to worry about there being somebody back here along my attack flank. The third corps should cover that when they finally get up here. Looks like you finally got those orders. Push on down the road. Still waiting for his. Looks like they're mostly going to mass up here in town. That kind of works for me. Batteries. He's going to bombard right there. They're coming out to meet us. You can push new boys forward.
boys left me an open flank. That's never a good idea. his orders. Ashton doesn't know where to go. He's kind of split between his forces here. Orders also just come down here. Who knows by the time they get to them. Batteries. I don't know. It's still kind of messed up in there, so we'll keep firing into that region. Sending out an infantry brigade over there. Keep advancing. Figure out what to do once we get to a better positioning. I may send the cavalry onto that brigade's flank, though. Their cavalry can flank us, too. Their cavalry seems to have a much longer range of weapons than we do. The skirmishers in. Boys are coming on fast now. Turn and engage. No, I gave you advance orders. Oh, never mind. We got troops coming on our flank now. See you off this brigade, please. Should have done a lot more damage to them at this point than we have. boys in a three-way crossfire. It's up to bank, please. It's against their flank. Oh, we're getting dismounted. Order, please. I know I just issued you advance orders, goddamn advance.
Byzantine vanguard. He says Nola is wounded. Pull back. Why have we not broken this brigade yet? Let's up, see if we can't force them back. You guys went short range because of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Damn it. Keep pushing in. Calvary, you haul. Or where are we? This area, they might have shifted everybody out of here. Holding divisions in reserve for no reason. Alright. Don't want you marching through that way. Yeah, come up right here. Get ready to send your boys in. Calvary's stuck behind the damn artillery over there. Rebels are gone. Why the hell would you go that way? Right across, please. Reynolds. out of the air. One brigade's just holding me up. It's one brigade. Here we go, forcing them back. About those cavalry up there. One messy fight. I'm not used to them being this messy. There we go, starting to break them. That's what I want to see. They broke up 450 casualties. This brigade, which is zero stars. Featherston, only one star, and he's hanging in there with 50% casualties. Get this done before my other core comes into support. Probably. There he goes, finally. As a hand to hand down. 
down here. Yep. Broke that cavalry. Hopefully it doesn't glitch out and break them. There they go. Boys back to long range. As far as will, I did turn off that bombardment. And they got drug in the hand to hand by the retreating cavalry. That's fine. We're just running low on ammo already. That's ridiculous. that retreating cavalry, please. They are just like spinning in circles down here in my brigades. It's really throwing everything off. Sherman's up there already. He moves fast. Uh, Calvary, come start hitting this gate here, please. Shifted over to a minor victory. Very good. Gas is higher than I'd like to see, but it is what it is. We are on the attack. Byzantine Vanguard's getting hammered. Okay, we're going to pull you guys out of the fight. And detach you. Calvary making a move? No, it is not. What the hell are you guys doing? Across like that. All right, twelfth time to get in it. those two divisions get in the fight. Oh, 
Yo, engineers, come out around here, please. Might be able to do something about that cavalry. Limit the vision. Come over here, please. Cavalry still mixed up with the artillery. I don't need you down here anymore. This way, please. Nobody should be this low on ammunition this early into the fight. Get across this damn road. Come on. How are you boys doing? Calvary. Calvary never usually fights. They're putting up a fight this time. Well, swing out this way. artillery in along these heights here if you can even make it to have an effect. There casualties are mounting. We got my 19% already. Artillery targeting. You guys should not be bombarding anymore. Nope, okay. You're still bombarding though. Why? Rally your men, they are breaking. Somebody's taking high casualties. Arnold's whipped. Who's Arnold? Oh, you're not broken yet. Oh, you're about to break. Holy shit. Pull back. Holy crap. 1,300 casualties. Break this knot here. All right, Shank, just push in. There we go. 
One of my brigades breaking brought us back to a minor defeat. You gotta be kidding me. Who's dead? Runyon. 14th Division Commander. Not good. German, go take care of this rallying brigade out here. and just fire. You guys still on this road? What the hell is going on with you boys? tougher fight than I thought it was going to be. I'm enjoying this. Who would have quickly missed, please? Let's go for the reforming one. Gotta keep it broken. No, I just issue advance orders. Follow them, please. Got this fucking in position first. Turn and engage, they're shooting into your flank. Driving these boys off in this knot. A lot more ammunition flying in their direction now. was drawn from the field. Well, we haven't cracked these guys yet. The amount of firepower going into this one brigade here, they should have been gone already. That's 
many guards out of ammo. Honestly, if I didn't have third core, I probably don't think I'd pull this attack off. It percent casualties, one star brigade still hanging in like chads. Towards Calvary's getting into position. Cav, right, yeah, I want you to keep riding around. Come down to this road here. Death Hussars, where are you? Coming up. I'm going to engage that Calvary Brigade. almost here too. I'm actually going to reroute you. Some more orders. You know what? I probably shouldn't. Should have him come in right here along the creek while the cavalry comes in behind. Already going out. Reynolds, what the hell are you doing down here, man? Engineers, forgot about you. Come up this way. We'll have you hit these uh, reforming brigades back here. Starting to do some damage to that cavalry. Good. What the hell's your division commander? What the hell's he doing back there? And they got the damn charge icon stuck on him. Go get them. Woods over here, please. Shouldn't have. I'm gonna have you boys keep coming down the road here. Getting in on them. Put those sabers to work. Still haven't broken this knot up. The amount of firepower going at these brigades, this is into the realm of ridiculous right there. Yeah, 
Have your orders finally. They broke this cavalry. Very good. Good job, Death Sars. Man, please. Now, lose order. Getting a bit jumpy now. He's got heavy casualties. Sherman. Oh, shit. Pull you boys back. you also finally starting to break this knot up good dance along the road please push them back We just moved into a major victory. Beautiful. Still heavy losses for us, though. Yeah, we're at 6,300 casualties. Not good. Not sustainable. Not the numbers we have. Well, you boys are exhausted, but it's the final push. Cavalry Brigade, please. Let's get rid of them. Let's see if a tree finally. Old Chuckies, advance. End the fight. Nobody's just come down to here. You're 500. Man unit, what the hell? I think we have to start combining down brigades. That's a full battery, it's not even a detachment, really. They are starting to go though. Finish them off, boys. Just took the objective. Chucky's advance against that brigade, please. 
coming, boys. Keep coming. Get you in there. Final, final shots. Let's go. That brigade just broke. Push on wise. There to go. Finally. All right, Cape Cod. Let's try and grab us some uh, prisoners here. Problem is, rebels did regain a lot of their morale with the pushes they've been making while my forces were performing. Really have the ability to do this. Get in there. See if we can bag some of these brigades so we don't have to fight them later. Battery just disintegrated. Don't break on me, Cape Cod. Boys have redeemed yourselves. Don't need to see you break. What are you doing back here? Get up there and rally your men. Damn it. God just broke. Death Hussar's doing some fine work, though. Chuck, just get up there with them. I'm gonna be able to chase them down with infantry. I need the cavalry. They're just all busted up right now. That's how we keep reforming underneath our hooves. Here's this brigade. We'll see if we can't get them to surrender. Keep reforming. This is. Should be able to do that. That's something they gotta work on. Doesn't matter how many commanders are there. If they're getting ridden down by cavalry, you're not reforming in the middle of that. Now, gosh, she's pretty damn bad. That's not gonna stop us, though. We're gonna keep pushing. up catch any of these uh, brigades it's just battery nah, it's not gonna let me nope all right casualties are a lot closer than I would like ran out of ammunition very quickly more quickly than we really should have because everybody's using them. No one says got sharps anymore. We lost 5,850 of our 36,239 men, 155 of our 3,800 cavalry, 9 of our 84 guns, total loss of 6,851 of our 42,095 men. Down 6,500 of their 20,000 infantry, 3,100 of their 8,500 cavalry. That's actually big. The cavalry for the rebels usually does not fight. They actually stood and fought this time. Yeah, all 40 of their guns. Total loss of 9,500 of their 29,000 men. Let's save this real fast and take a look at the paperwork. Alright, third core. Came on the field late. Engineers did not fight. 4th Cavalry Division. Death Hussars did 301 to infantry. Captured 205. 238 to cavalry. Captured 6. Total 757. 
Cape Cod Cavalry did 177 infantry, captured 104, 26 to cavalry, 30 artillery patrol, 343. 11th Division, Lincoln's Nolichucky Legion did 31 to infantry, that's it. 3rd Artillery Division, 3rd U.S. Artillery did 8 to infantry, 14 to cav for 22. 5th U.S. Artillery did 66 to infantry, 22 to cav for total 93. And 1st Indiana Battery did 6 to infantry, 5 to cav, 11 total, division total 126. 4th Corps, Pennsylvania Guard did 556 to infantry, 8 to cavalry, 4 to artillery for total 573. New York Engineers did 8 to Infantry, 12th Infantry Division. 3rd Brigade did 281 to Infantry, 8 to Cavalry for total 289. 2nd Brigade did 11 to Infantry, 370 to Cavalry, 2 to Artillery for total 384. Dow's Lumberjacks did 195 to Infantry, 578 to Cavalry, 8 to Artillery for total 781. Division total 1454. 13th Division. 2nd Brigade did 275 to Infantry, 432 to Cav, captured 83, 25 to Artillery, patrol of 830. 3rd Brigade did 651 to Infantry, 191 to Cav, for total of 844. 4th Brigade did 469 to Infantry, captured 75, 586 to Cavalry, captured 86, 4 to Artillery, patrol of 1,224. Division total 2,898. 14th Division, Byzantine Vanguard did 102 to Infantry, 13 to Cavalry, 8 to Artillery, patrol of 123. Vigilante Guard did 924 to Infantry, 20 to Cavalry, 7 Artillery Patrol, 955. 2nd Brigade did 1,237 to Infantry, 10 to Cavalry, 31 to Artillery Patrol, 1,283. Division total 2,361. 4th Artillery Division. 2nd U.S. Artillery did 58 to Infantry, 76 to Cav, 17 to Artillery Patrol, 153. Fort Jefferson Garrison did 74 to Infantry, 47 to Cav, 32 to Artillery Patrol, 156. 2nd Battery Fortress Monroe did 251 to Infantry, 106 to Cav, 29 Artillery Patrol, 399. 1st Battery Fortress Monroe did 212 to Infantry, 137 to Cav, 64 Artillery Patrol, 432. Division Patrol, 1140. Nice seeing the uh, artillery actually get something done. All right. Officers, we lost a few wounded. I think one killed in action. 3rd Corps didn't lose anybody. 4th Corps. Isis Nola's wounded. Runyon's killed in action. Look, so we lost more than two officers. Oh yeah, one of the artillery commanders. Uh, Pryor is wounded. So one dead, two wounded. For the rebels. Pryor's wounded. Wharton's wounded. So that's two division commanders right there. I should have broke them a lot sooner than it did. Fulkerson's killed in action. That's a corps commander. Stewart's wounded in action. Waddy's wounded in action. It says five of their officers, two, two of them division commanders, Oof, and the corps commander. I'll right, we'll get closed out of here, and I will see you all at the newspaper screen. Glorious victory at the Battle of Harper's Ferry. So, Colonel Arnold lost face, and he really shouldn't have. It. His brigade took a massive beating. So he should have never lost a face, but it is what it is. He's got to get replaced. Battle of Harper's Ferry's end with the Army of Maryland retreating in panic. The Army's reportedly suffered total casualties of 9,548 men. There are 1,452 killed, 3,470 captured. Our casualties told 6,851 men, 1,047 killed, 1,163 missing, and the rest are wounded. We captured 5,700 rifles and 19 guns from the field and sent 3,500 soldiers off to our prison camps. That went, that could have gone a lot better. That could have gone a lot better. Let's get this rolled off. And that's going to basically end our drive up the Shenandoah for the time being. There we 
Yep. Yeah, we're going to continue on. Oh, no movement possible because they're down in the orange readiness. So he's got to sit here for a little while. Alexandria is almost ours. As soon as we secure Alexandria, I'm going to start pushing straight down the Richmond. We are in wheeling. And secure now. That's going to take a while because there's not a lot of men in this core. First Corps made it to Indianapolis. So let's start pushing down here to Vernon. I don't know if Winder's Corps is there or not. That's old intelligence. But we'll take that supply depot from them and then move on to Louisville. Second Corps is moving along like Robertson moved out of his way. G new orders come down and hit that core, please. Fifth core is probably not ready to move yet. They could, but their readiness would be trashed out before they even made the Shreveport. They gotta wait till they're at least yellow going into green. It's probably another 10 days or so. And I think six core might have glitched out. I think they might have glitched out on me. Let's get down here to the mouth of the river. Because they just have not moved off the island. I think they might have glitched. And first core is in contact. Here's somebody here. Stevenson. Separate Calvary Corps, it looks like. Uh, about even on in numbers. This fight shouldn't take long. We'll do this one this episode. So it's our first corps, 11,064 infantry, 2,300 cavalry, and 30 guns. Going up against Cartel Stevenson with 10,000 infantry, 1,800 cavalry, and six guns. What does his stats look like? Initiative active. Distinct, he's actually a pretty good. Outside of his fame, he's actually a pretty damn good officer. All right. We'll jump into this one. Welcome, my grunts, to the Battle of Burning. We are on the Springfield map, and we are attacking down here along the Old Coach Trail at the Mrs. Pierman Farm. So, really no good direct routes to get there outside of going straight through town via Muller's Ford. Nice open terrain battle, too. So, it's 0700. I'm going to get my troops... I'm just basically just going to march my troops right to here, get siding on the Rebels. And it's all open terrain here. There's really nothing we can do about that. Trying to march through here would just be a, possibly a fool's errand trying to get on their flank. We could come down around this way. That's not going to make a difference. Either way, the terrain is the same. Flat ground here, flat ground here with a ridge in the center that they are standing on. So we got to hit the ridge. Doesn't matter which direction we approach it from. So, yep, I guess I'm going to come straight through town. Use Muller's Ford, set up over here. And we do have a slight morale advantage, but that won't last long. The longer they hold this objective point, the better their morale is going to get. So uh, I'm going to get these troops moving. I'll come back in once we have contact with the rebels. All right, it's now 11:12 in the morning of day one, and I have a lot of my batteries. About they actually got up here pretty damn quickly, so I've been giving them about an hour of time to. Uh, Soften these positions up a little bit. Uh, done some damage to this battery. Uh, we've actually... You don't want to see the bodies anymore, but we're actually doing some damage to their command staff also. And I'm bombarding some brigades back here. So I am leading the attack with the 19th Infantry Division as they have 6,200 men in it. They're going to be supported by the 7th Division, which has 2,900 men. 
Because I have a massive issues with uh, personnel right now. But uh, nothing I can do about that. Other than push forward. So I was letting the artillery have a little fun. Uh, they've only caused about 90 casualties so far. We've taken 16 return from counter battery from this battery here, which I thought we would have seen off already. It just hasn't happened yet. So we're just going to push in with the attack before I take any more casualties in the artillery, which I really can't afford. And I have the Connecticut Cavalry ready to move on this flank here. Once the infantry engages, I'm going to bring them around over this way. And that's the engineers I have here laying down. They're in support of the artillery because the cavalry, their cavalry did push forward. So I sent the uh, engineers forward and their cavalry fell back after that. Let's engage that battery right there in front of them. There they go. And their cavalry's falling out of position. Their army commander's right there in front. Alright, boys, push forward. Get out of the way for the other division, please. Let's give you boys some bombard orders. Right over here, which is just a little left of where my 30s are firing. There's two brigades over here along the old coach trail. Someone else up here in these woods. Cavalry yeah, swing out this way. Probably sending them a little too soon, but might force some of these brigades to turn their flanks to us. Coming up a little too fast, but that's okay. Right, let's just turn off those bombard orders and put them all to fire at will. Once again, unlike the last battle, the cavalry does not want to engage. But they don't have the uh, numbers this time around either. Boys, please come up with the double. These skirmishers pushed in. That brigade's turning its flank. Perfect time because the cavalry should just be getting their orders. There they go. Are they pulling back from the objective? It might be. Just want to tell you to turn off those bombardment orders. Fire at will. Well, we are pulling the back. I can't see these brigades over here. These, this is one that was up in the woods here. Hulk apparently is a brigade commander. Interesting. First man, just got your first perk. Discipline.
Oh, they were supposed to get charged. Oh, well. We got this with my assault brigade, or my assault division. Keep pushing forward. So the skirmishers in getting bane at range of their brigades. Move up right behind them. Cover how we look in. Come around back here. I don't want you fighting over that fence line. Get behind them. Harrison, move your... Harney, get up here with the divisions, please. Yeah, their infantry's falling back. If we get the cavalry behind them, we should be able to lock them in place. They do not want to play with us. Don't put up a fight if you don't want to fight. Gonna hold steady there. No. Brigade's coming forward. Come on, bird side, get a move on. Williams Brigade, keep pushing forward. Let's flank this brigade out, please. Third Pennsylvania. Those bayonets to work. You boys are good at. Seventh Division, get ready to push through. Guys, flanks, please. What's going on here? You should be in hand to hand. Here we go. Get in there, support them. Everybody, get in there. That's a detach. I'm not worried about them. Turn on Actors Brigade, please. I'll re-engage theirs. Go. Good job, boys. Good job. Almost a level three on their perk. His brigade forward. these guys hit level 3, they become very deadly. Staying out of range of us, move in on them. Break this brigade. Don't let them run.
Almost got your level three. Come on. Darn it. Turn on Polk. Here we go. Bayonet these boys. And they can charge that retreating brigade, please. going to get a major victory if we don't force a surrender on one of these brigades. PA, get that cavalry. Chase these boys down, please. Gabby's gonna try and stay out of range of us. Here we go, third PA, get in there. Yep, get that cavalry. Not let that brigade get away. Stay on them. Should have launched their retreat array unless there's brigades I don't see. The third PA is exhausted. I don't think they're going to get their level 3 this battle. Limbs already hit level 2. I don't think we catch anybody else. Don't you miss Calfrey's glitch, I'll break my brigades. Don't be glitched. Might be. Third PA, pull out of that mess. William, same with you. That might be a glitched brigade. They'll do a lot of damage to us. There they go. Sixteen percent cash. It didn't have a lot of men on the field, so it's okay. I have a brigade did not glitch. We're not going to catch anybody else. So we'll just speed this along. Nice, quick, easy victory. It took me longer to get my men into position than the actual fighting took. <laughs> That's a good thing. Low casualty battles are a good thing. Eight hundred seventeen losses there. Twenty one hundred. I'll take that. Too bad none of their brigades surrendered to us. There's one stuck on the river. Now we got a minute left. There we go. Alright, we took down 1,900 of their 11,000 infantry. 150 or 1,900 cavalry. Got all five of their guns from their one battery. Total loss of 2,100 of 13,000 men. We lost 776 of our 11,061 infantry. 30 of our 2,300 cavalry. None of our guns. Total loss of 817 of our 13,870 men. Save this and go through the paperwork real fast. First Illinois Engineers got nothing. First Connecticut Cavalry did captured 392 infantry, did 67 to cavalry for total 461. Seventh Division, Second Kentucky did nine to infantry, Missouri Brigade did seven to infantry. 19th Division, Williams Brigade did 153 to infantry, captured 149, 2 to cavalry, 9 taken prisoner, total 314. First Mass did 198 to infantry, 2 to cavalry, total 200. Third Pennsylvania did 673 to infantry, captured 91, 8 to artillery, total 772, division total 1,286. Artillery Division, 2nd Connecticut Battery did 82 to infantry, 39 to cav, 35 to artillery, total 170. And 2nd Battery, Fort Pickens, did 88 to Infantry, 13 to Cavalry, 6 to Artillery, for total 126, Division total 296. Actually, not bad for two batteries. Officers, we didn't lose anybody this time around. So 
we got any of theirs. Some of these divisions only have one brigade in them. Like, yeah, well, all these divisions have one brigade each. That's just odd. No officers in this battle. Okay. Get closed out here and I'll see you off the newspaper screen. Victory at the Battle of Vernon. The army of Texas withdrawing in panic. Members reportedly suffered total casualties of 2,045 men. There are 240 killed and 1,098 captured. Our casualties total 817 men. We had 118 killed, 126 missing, and the rest are wounded. We captured 1,400 rifles and two guns from the field and sent 1,081 soldiers off to our prison camps. It looks like they blamed the poor old battery commander, Major Breckenridge, on the loss. What a shame. All right, before that battle rolls off, we do... I hope I didn't wait too long to get my replacements in at 4th Corps. Hopefully they haven't changed any of those officers yet. It looks like they did. Yeah, they already replaced everybody. All right. Oh, they gave Heg the Byzantine vanguard. I wanted to, I would have given him a division and not a brigade, but they already moved them in, so I'll leave them there. All right. Did not get to those officer replacements in time. But that works, because I was going to use, I had a lot of officers come back from being wounded. They were all going to get the spots anyway. Right, let's get this one rolled off. go all right i do believe this is a good place to end this episode it's a nice little start to our spring offensive we are four days into it and have two victories under our belt one major one minor so our push is happening we're looking out here there's still a core out here i thought they moved them They only left 300 men here. They left 300 men from the Army of Texas here at the fort. They pulled everybody else out. Okay, that'll be a nice, easy win, hopefully. Don't screw this up again, Reno. Don't screw that up again. I need you elsewhere. Especially down here to retake these forts. Front lines haven't shifted much, but they are shifting a little bit. We will take back all, take back everything we lost in Louisiana fairly quickly, I do believe, and continue our push along the southern seaboard. So like I said, we'll end this episode here. Once again, if you're a new viewer, return viewer, you're not yet subscribed, please think about hitting that subscribe button. If you do, remember that bell icon so the next video comes out. If you're following along in the series and enjoying it, don't forget to bayonet that like button, but stroke that comment section. Get the algorithm working in our favor. And I will see you all at the next episode. Stay grumpy.